<laughs> My thoughts on graduating. I'm excited and I'm lucky. And I hope to come back for one more year if New York State accepts me. It'll be like both New York Giants Super Bowl 42 and 46 victories. I have worked and learned these skills to advocate, to have confidence and share about challenges and how and to have leadership and to be a friend. The NASA courses I took, what I learned um, in LCE, which is known as Life Centered Education, I learned social skills and life skills. In BB, in vocational education, I learned job skills. In the English NAS class, I learned, well, I actually did a presentation about mental health in, in uh, prison and stuff like that for prisoners. I did a presentation about it in the class. It was cool. Um, what mentors mean to me? I've met so many mentors over the past two or three years. They were a lot of help. They have helped me through the good and the bad. The thing I'll miss most about coming here to NAS, the program itself, the students in Life Prep, and the students outside of Life Prep, and all of the fun activities. I want to thank the whole program and the whole NAS of college Hopefully I get to come here for one more year so I can experience the fourth year. The most important thing I learned coming here is how to be a leader, how to be a friend, and how to make new friends and get to know them more. I know I'm ready to leave, so hopefully New York State will accept me and I can go transfer into the art program here at Life Press. The one thing I overcame to accomplish here being here at NAS is how to show leadership, and I was also the host of the Best Buddies pageant before COVID, and being a big sports fan. Anything I would like to add, um, best moments here at NAS freshman year when Will, coming back from our MCC field trip, we were going through the city and he was reading all the billboards and all the advertisements. We drive past the YMCA in the city, he just goes, Oh my gosh, I have never seen Miss M laugh so hard in her life. She laughs so hard she went fucking on the seat. Oh boy. Um, um, and also, um, Mr. Ted, who was a, a former teacher aide, um, my freshman year, gave him a Christmas present. It was um, a teddy bear. When, when we press it, it would go. <laughs> um, and also the um, Halloween party we had, I was jamming out to music um, the entire time, that was fun. And also another fun um, moment was um, we were playing a game called MASH where we predict our, our lives and like, you know, what type of car we had. So my friend who's in the program, Ben Ramondi, um, I predicted the type of car he should have, which was a green smart car with a horn that goes... I'm on the desk, on the table, all of a sudden I was seeing goes, woo, he picks up, puts on his head, and I'm like, hey, you pick that. <laughs> and another story I added in, um, one of the most funny stories, my cousin told this story, it was called, Ew, spiders! That's the one story I always remember sharing here. And shouting stuff um, when the visiting team would shoot three throws during the basketball games. I bet Coach Broderick was like thinking, like, this kid's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so, plans for next year. Hoping to come here for year four. I have my fingers crossed. And if not, I'll have my part time job in the mailroom somewhere out in Rochester and assistant coaching high school football, basketball, and lacrosse. Um, one thing I'd like to add um, this is a quote that um, New York Giants coach. Bill Parcells said after their Super Bowl 21 victory, for the rest of your life, nobody could ever tell you that you couldn't do it if you did it.